But today I will be saying something that might provoke you, you know. Uh, not because I hate the Igbos. My program is not always about the Igbo. My program is always some talk about something that is not right. You know, sometimes when I talk about Buhari, you people feel, some people be thinking I'm just kind of defending Buhari. I'm not defending Buhari. It is me, the wounded. I believe everything in life. Just be, if it is green, call it gray. You can, you can, it lies. You can succeed with lies. If it is jello, just say jello. If you want freedom, stay focused. I want freedom. This is what I want. Don't try to rubbish others. Create stories because you want freedom. You can't succeed like that. Paint others black. You can't. Let your years be years. You can't just cook up fake stories and say a Nigeria, you know, like this Jubrin story. You know, it is something people like us find it difficult to comprehend. What the fuck is wrong with you? You see that problem of Nigeria. Uroboman, no. He's not the only one suffering. Edoman, no. He's not the only one suffering. He knows Yorubas are suffering. Edoman, no. Yorubas are suffering. Yoruba man, no. Isoko people are suffering. Who is enjoying? Even people in the north, they are suffering there. So don't take Nigerian problem as if they are, you are the only one they are marginalizing. It doesn't work like that. So, what I'll be talking about today might seem like I'm attacking the Igbos. I'm not attacking the Igbos. You know, I always say it here that um, we have good and bad people in every tribe. That is what I believe. That, and that is the truth. So, I am here to debunk lies, you know. You see, that day, they, uh, these our brothers, our misguided brothers, I Pope, you know, that is giving everybody problem now, giving their fellow Igbo problem. So when people talk, as it will look as if we are attacking the Igbos. We are not attacking the Igbos. But if the Igbos feel we are attacking them to hell, I don't give a shit. My people first. Edo first. Your Igbo first. If you do first. We have some Edos who misbehave on social media. We said, okay. You see these people. Sometimes some of them will be saying something nasty against their own people. Where they are from. It shows they are sick. Just like we have sick people in Igbo, we have sick people in Edo. You see, this Nigerian problem. A reasonable person who know Nigerian problem, it is our politicians who read budget. Why those you're supposed to be fighting if you are not fighting them and you are fighting uh especially traditional ruler to me you are not serious the people supposed to be fighting the people that is giving our traditional rulers money the money they're supposed to you for instance for infrastructure you are not attacking people like that that means you, you are sick when we see somebody like me Talk about this iPhone compose. You think I don't the government is not there? No. Because they are distractors. They don't want us to focus. Example, you see the sensors. See them. The monkey that is leading them. You know, they kind of started saying, bomb police station, bomb that place. It's not NSAS is none of your business. You would have stay, stay out of it. That is the reason why we talk about these people. We don't just talk about them because we hate them. You understand me? We don't talk about people. If we talk about the IPOB, we don't talk about the Olibos. But if the Olibos feel we are talking about them, to hell with them. Just like they talk about us, it is freedom of speech. If some animals can gather themselves together and hurt my my and say my state, my land is part of their nonsense, and then you said I should not talk about them. You are sick. You are laying cause on yourself and your generation. I have right to talk. I can talk about the Yorubas. I 
uh, you know, they can talk about the Yorubas. I can talk about the Yorubos. I can talk about Shekri, provided I am not trying to insult them or instigate trouble between the Edos and the Yorubas. When you tell people what you are doing, sponsoring miscreants against my kingdom, I don't like it, you supposed to stop. You understand me? I Pope, I know, I, uh, me and you, uh, Mr. Iki, I know I Pope don't represent Igbo now. Everybody know I Pope don't represent it. Uh, if I go represent the Igbos, we will know by now. I Pope don't represent, they represent themselves. I know. Remember when Lawrence Anini, you see Anini, that criminal, the one they killed in the mid 60s. When you say Anini, to them, they say, all oh, Benin is a thief. It is like that. When one, somebody commits crime, second, three, four, five, six, even 20 people commit crime from the same tribe, you see all the tribe. It is always like that, but because some few individuals are doing doesn't mean all the tribe, but sometimes it is like that. You understand me? So what we are trying to do here is this. It is division of labor. Me, I have been fighting the government for years and I will continue to fight the government. You understand me? If somebody, for instance, I'll, I'll, I'll be playing you people some videos here. If some people are fighting for freedom, if they stay focused, fight for their freedom with their five states, no problem. But when you begin to include other people without telling them, you, you, you design your flag yourself. You put uh, the stupid uh, David uh, star. You draw the dragon. You set up a uh, terrorist uh, southeast uh, whatever. You buy them guns by yourself. Urobo man is not there. Edo man is not there. Shakiri man have no say in that. Uh, Ijo have no say in that. Uh, Asian people have no say in that. Still, you said you want the alarm. There is trouble there. There is trouble there. Because what we do, it is part of fighting for freedom. This is the freedom. I'm trying to help. You understand me? And I will continue to help. You may not, do may not like me. Do I care? I don't care. At the end of the day, I might die today and go. <laughs> people will talk about me. Why would why will people talk about me? Because ever since you know, we don't do our preaching, fighting on social media before, but social media became opportunity for us to really reach out. We do it through music. But such a media become opportunity for us to, to reach our people, to talk to our people, what we believe, contribute, and say, okay, in, uh, on this matter, this is what I think that is right thing to do. So, you have not seen me in the, uh, you know, supporting evil. You have not seen me doing things, you say, ah, the wounded. No, impossible, because we know what we are doing. We know what we are here for. So, for that, I believe, for these years, nobody can point at one thing and say, oh, this is the wound. Why are you wounded? No, impossible. Impossible because we were not born and uh, brought up that way. Our own is about what stand for what is what is right. Always stand for what is right. We don't do it for money. We don't do it for praises. You understand me? I am not doing what I'm doing because I put, I put, I put boys, those, I call them monkeys, you understand me? Because they call other people names too. So when you call people names, people can call you names too. You, if you cannot uh, take blow, don't, don't throw blow. If you, don't, if you live in a glass house, don't throw stones, you understand me? So uh, a few days ago, a few weeks ago, these uh, I put, uh bastards, them, they cook up a story video to uh, accuse the former Oba of Benin that is the one, he, he caused the war. <laughs> that the former Oba of Benin caused the war. You understand me? So I'll be playing you the, the video and later we'll begin to debunk their lies because that is what this topic today is all about. 
You understand me? When people are claiming they are fighting for freedom, they are they will cause they're trying to cause enmity. You know, they have tried to make the Edos and the Yorubas, they they have to, you know, the story between the Edos and Yoruba become their headache. You know, they they they, they enter, they change story as if what is Biafra business with the story between the Edos and the Yoruba? Yoruba might be 300 million people. They can't force their belief on us. They can only say whatever they say concerning Ododua in their backyard. Dada, that's it. You can't come and do and come telling Edo people, oh, this is your story. Edo must accept your story. Take your story. Let peace reign. Ododua is from where? From uh, sky. Thank you. Edo will say Ododua is our son. Huh? Thank you. At the end of the day, let us be friends. Do business together. Our children can marry themselves. That's it. This story will not bring food on our table. This story will not change anything. But you can impose your belief on us. You can impose your belief on others. You remember during coronation, our other said, is from the lineage from uh, Oromia, Dudua, Gisu, and the rest. And that's what he said. And he also said that Odudua, the or uh, a Kaladin and the one they call Odudua, it was from Edu. You see, those hypo bastards, those Igbo monkeys, you know, they took the side when the other said is on the lineage of uh, Ogiso, Odudua, and the rest. They forget about the rest. You understand me? They use it to do their propaganda. But when you play the full video, the king said, the Odudua is from Edu. Me as a do man, it uh, either the Edo's, if maybe the Yorubas are right, Odudua was not from Edo, it's from Sky, from Saudi Arabia, whatever. As a Edo man, I have to accept my Edo story. As a Edo man, that makes me a Edo man. Yoruba, accept your Yoruba story. That makes you a real Yoruba man. When the time comes, we we'll sit down and talk about it. It is not, you don't expect me as a Edo man. If I to come out now and tell you, you know, our story, I am insulting myself. I'm insulting my tribe. It, it, it's only fools that do that. Can't you see? There is some good side. You know, these hypo nikompos. There are something good about them too. You see, they are criminal like Ojuku. They never tell you Ojuku is bad. You see, there the are brothers that uh, that are coup plotters that destroy Nigeria. Those coup plotters, that is sick over there. We we'll never say bad thing about them, you know. They, they are good, you don't see. Who destroy the, our region gov, uh, regional government? The one that Ibo left for us and created this uh, uni, uh, this uh, federal government nonsense that we all are suffering today. You see those type of monkeys? They will never say they're wrong. They don't talk about how their brother killed Niger Delta people because they did, because Igbo Ma was the head of state. Niger Delta people declare Niger Delta Republic. They won't tell you. You know, I like them so, also with me a do man. The story between the Yorubas and the I follow my Edo, I'm a Edo man. I can't come to public and be beginning to say things I believe the, the, the sorry, the, the Yoruba, am I a Yoruba man? Am I a Yoruba person? No. As a Edo man, I, I stand by Edo story and I have point to defend my Edo story. That That is what makes me Edo. You see, what I'm saying is only those educated people that will understand what I am saying now. Those hypomni compos, they, they don't they won't know what I'm trying to say. The point I'm trying to make here. The Yorubas, believe your story. You, must you believe my in your story? Nothing wrong in that. It's your story. I don't believe your own story too. You know, I can call, I can tell a Yoruba man, oh, the do I was not from Edo. I, I, I must except those confused Edos, those fools, like let's say for instance. That is not the topic. You know, when you are talking like this, something like you have to sometimes like you deviate some, something like that. So Yorubas, they play some propaganda. They went to a certain house, the video read, they write something on the wall, said we bury our house by there. They say, you know, there is no even gate in that compound. Abba now, the Oba of Bini. The, where I buried my father, it's like a paradise. My father, a chief.
I would say ordinary chief to the king, you bury a, a oba in a place, no gate there. No gate. So for instance, a Yoruba might video something and say the bury oba there must if that means it is true. Okay. If I write my own, go to a certain place and say the bury uh um of here, that is that true? Did you investigate it? You know, come on, man. That is respect, you know. Yoruba, you see some egos, not it's not of their business. They will just carry video like that. Blah, 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 blah. Look at them. So you bury it Oba there, and we cannot even maintain it. Or oh, hey, oh, you didn't know. We see Oba as second god, just like the Egyptians see their pharaohs as their second god. We don't joke with our Oba. Just like the Muslim respect their prophet Muhammad. Leave it like that. It's our Oba. We are the Edos. You can go and kill your papa, kill your mama, kill your king. Leave the Edos like if if we will change things, let the Edos decide for themselves. You don't because you hate people there. You hate the 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 the, the king there. You are not you are not you don't decide for us. You are provoking us. Onyamiri don't have anything to say in our land. That is it. Edo man, Edo man, those. Uh, you know, to me, I don't believe in fake Edo. We are all Edos. But on social media, you see mad people. Sometimes people do things you'll be wondering. Are you people normal? Don't you have family? So when people like that are saying things they don't supposed to say, I, people like that, I see in Adikano as that kind of people. You know, they don't have, they, they claim they're educated. If in Adikano is really educated. I don't think it will come on air be telling people I had guns. This is a man that I've been proscribed. He ran away when they did pattern dance in his father's house. He is telling you, I have guns. He go and keep police deck. No. No, come on. Educated person cannot say things like that. There is what I see, me. There is something I can see, me. So when they say he's, he's intelligent, I wonder what do you people by shouting, you know, Koko Amanda makes him intelligent. So, that is what I'm talking about. So, Igbo, the story between the Edus and the Yorubas, not all Igbos, stay away from it. There is no thing in life a Yoruba man will say concerning Ododuwa's story that will make me believe Ododuwa. I am a man of the truth. Maybe, if for instance, they, they can give me or prove to the world, not, you know, not telling us is from Ododuwa from heaven, Ododuwa from Saudi Arabia, Ododuwa from the east. You don't even know where Ododuwa come from. No, that is where you spoil everything. I believe I will just stick to my Edo story. Edo story is very clear. He's our son. So, but when Yoruba say Ododuwa came uh, from the sky with chains on his hand, uh -huh. it makes sense then when you say chains on his hand, you know, uh -huh. because we are saying here. Yeah, our uh, uh, we banish our our prince here. Maybe the chains and the rope, yeah. you know those things. Yeah. <laughs> well, let us not go there. Let us not go there because we can impose just like what our king said during the, the day of coronation that we cannot impose our belief on people outside our boundary. The Yorubas might be, be might be the one telling the truth. Edo might be the one lying. Again, Edo might be the one telling the truth. Or the Dua is from somewhere. The Dua is from heaven. When you saw the Dua from Saudi Arabia, it might be true. Or the Dua might be from Edo. Because Edo Empire, Edo Kingdom, Edo Kingship have really at least proved to the world that yes, Or the Dua might really come from there. With, you know, you know that empire was so big then. We have, you know, there's evidence that, ah, you know, you understand me? So let us, uh, let us leave that for now. Let us go to the main topic. Uh, these Igbo people then uh, makes a video here to accuse the, uh, the former Oba that he caused the civil war. I will play some part of it and we'll continue. was born on June 22, 1923 and ascended the Benin throne on March 23, 1979. 
The Aba of Benin is the traditional ruler of the Edo people and head of the historic Eweka dynasty of the Benin Empire. However, before becoming an Oba, Eredyawa was an outstanding civil servant. He in fact rose to become the federal permanent secretary, Minister of Health before he retired in 1973. He was then known as Prince Samuel Akenzwa. Akenzwa was part of the Nigerian contingents that traveled all the way to Aburi, Ghana to attend what is now called the Aburi Meeting or Aburi Accord, where the Nigerian conflict was discussed between January 4th and 5th, 1967. Those who attended the meeting were... Uh, before I continue this video, let me correct something here <clears throat> concerning this Aburi Meeting, you know. Aburi Meeting was held in... Uh, Abori Ghana. They all went there to talk when I, when Ojuku started making noise, the criminal Ojuku started making noise, they want they must research on Nigeria, they must do this when uh go on took over power. You see, you see that Abori nonsense, huh? When they say they travel to Abori, the reason why they travel to Abori is already false, it's already because of nonsense. So, why I stop the video is to tell you, whatever they say in Aburi, first of all, going to Aburi alone was nonsense. You see, this, this was 1967, I mean, no, 1966. Before 1966, when Iboma was the president and the head of state, Ojuku did not make noise. They want to destruction Nigeria, they must go to Aburi. You understand me? When Goa took over power, he began to threaten, uh, 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 we must divide Nigeria or we social Nigeria. He did not talk about the structuring. Four months, because they went to Abori, I think four or five months, when they when the, uh, uh, so they overthrew his brother. Then they begin to, why I stopped, if you tell you, the reason going to Abori was nonsense. Because you know the mind on people that went to Abori, the mind of the politicians, people that went to Abori. Ojuku was not making this noise when the brother was the head of state. Oh. When they were killing the Niger Delta, you must remain one Nigeria. Nigeria was sweet. There is no need for anybody to be threatening you want to leave Nigeria. When the Agu Yonosu was the president. So when your brother was no longer there, your brother is no longer there. Then you begin to talk about restructuring Nigeria. We have to go to Abori. <laughs> you have to know. You understand me? So reason of going to Abori, it was nonsense. You understand me? You are just trying to make trouble because your, your, your brother was no longer there. Oibo, when they left us for that six years, your brother was the president. From there, Abu Yonosi took over. You were the head of police, head of military, everything. Now that your brother is no longer there. The Lieutenant Colonel Yakubo Now that Kuron. your brother is no longer there. Eh, Nigeria, we must restructure Nigeria. That is the problem we are facing now. Obasanjo was there. We didn't talk about restructuring Nigeria. Nobody cared. Our brother is there. Enjoy. Steam money. Let's go. Uh, Jonathan came, hey, our brother is there. What are uh, we researching Nigeria for? Hey, Satan man, a South South man can rule Nigeria now. Nigeria is okay, no problem. Uh, Fulani, who believe in tribalism and nepotism is there now. You begin to know, oh, oh, oh. I think, uh, the social is good though. That is our problem. That is the reason why what we are what we are asking God to do for us, God don't do it for us. Because we are not doing whatever we are doing with a clear mind. We do it out of foolishness. You understand me? Yeah. Don't expect Bari to research that country. Just pray Bari should go 2023 for a southern man to come so that we'll be talking about researching the country. Ojuku did not love Nigeria. Uh, you know, it is, he's kind of talking about this nonsense going to Abori because his brother is no longer the president. You know, it was the same Ojuku led the troop that go and kill these people in Niger Delta uh, at that Kaburu when they were agitating for their own self determination. So let's so let's continue. And in Maker Ojuku, Commodore J.E.A. Way, Major Mobology Johnson, Al Haji Kam Salem, and many others. The chairman of the Ghana National Liberation Council. You see the people they mention here, that, let, I, I, let me repeat it again. The, the prince is not there. The prince Akens were then. It's not there. The people that went to uh, Aburi, let me play it again. Attended the meeting where Lieutenant Colonel Yakubo Kowon uh -huh. and Emeka Ojuku, uh -huh. Commodore J.E.A. Way, uh -huh. Major Mobology Johnson, uh -huh. Al Haji Kam Salem, and uh -huh. many others. Uh -huh. 
The chairman of the Ghana National Liberation Council, uh -huh. Lieutenant General Joseph Arthur Ankara, mm -hmm. declared the meeting open mm -hmm. in his capacity as the then head of state of Ghana. Mm -hmm. At Aburi, Goron and Majuku agreed on the following resolutions. Mm -hmm. That the army would be governed by a Supreme Military Council under a chairman mm -hmm. who would be known as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces mm -hmm. and Head of the Federal Military Government. Mm -hmm. An establishment of a military headquarters comprising mm -hmm. equal representation from the regions mm -hmm. and headed by Chief of Staff. Mm -hmm. The creation of area commands corresponding to existing regions and under the charge of area Ask yourself, six months before this Abori meeting. His brother was the head of state. He did not drag his brother, Igbo man, to Abori to come and say, I am not saying what he was saying is not right, but what I'm saying, he did not drag his brother, Guji Ronsi, to Abori to come and say, Ami will control this, people will control that. When the brother was there, the same brother, it was regional government. We'll be talking about that later. You know, I am a man who believes in the truth. If you want to succeed, don't lie. Don't come and be let the, uh, doing this. Oh, we, they are uh, they are they are marginalizing me. We are the angels. Uh -uh. You are the devil who is trying to kick the full honey out and be the full honey yourself, dragging land yourself, dragging boundary yourself. We from the minority tribe. We you claim fifty million. Yoruba claim 40, 50 million. The North claiming 300 million. We, that is not 50 million. We, the 5 million tribe, 4 million there. The other one, 2 million there, leave us alone so that we will not go and experience nepotism again. That is the reason yesterday I made a video. I said, any Asian man, or let's, I use Asian for example, or let, no, let's say Afema, for instance. A trader is not even up to 3 million. Tell me why you listen to Igbo who claim 15 million. Why are they disturbing you? Tell them, look, black man is black man. When we're operating regional government, uh, 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 people from South are not four South South states. We're part of South Old Southeast. Four uh, Aqua Ibon, River State, River Bayesa. They were part of the old southeast region. Ask yourself, if Igbo were the one controlling them, because if, uh, south is on their own, southwest on their own, they were still, people say they, are, they have had enough. Ojuku oh, were using uh, Niger Delta oil money, doing business with the France to be supplying him guns and bombs. The truth, I will continue to tell them the truth. In, have you ever seen a decano tell them this? No. They kill me. They kill me. They kill my papa. They, kill. they don't tell you the truth. This is where you get it. We don't lie. We have videos. We have videos. If you talk about how they kill you, what? You, can, you, you, you know children. They will come, baba, baba, that boy beat me. When you ask him, what did you do? I don't do anything. Always I did not do anything. But good papa, no. Somebody cannot just wake up and be beating you now. You must have done something. You understand me? We, I want the people. We might be few here. It was not like that before. They, 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 up to today, I've been blocked. They, they blocked me to the extent. I can't even see my shot. People inbox me now. I can't even see it again. you see all their threat message. They will kill me. They will do this. I know all those that. You understand me? Me, I will not give up. I will not give up. I will register this page. I will begin to use this page to correct you people. I'm helping you people. You understand me? So let's continue with the, with the nonsense. Commanders, in that the Supreme Military Council will deal with matters of policy, including appointments and promotion to top executive posts in the armed forces and the police. They also agreed to set up a military committee on which each region will be represented to prepare statistics which will show the present strength of the Nigerian army. As far as the regions were concerned, it was decided that all the powers vested in the Nigerian constitution and them, which they exercised prior to the January 15, 1966 coup d'etat, should be restored to the regions. 
The decisions at Abori in terms of political and military control of the country amounted to Nigeria being governed as a confederation. It should be noteworthy that the vocal military officers like confederation. Is that not the kind of government Oyibo left for us? Is that not the kind of government Aguyu Ronse Igbo with Ojuku? Ojuku was not the premier in, uh, in the southeast. It was when, when, when Aguyu Ronse took over power. He removed the premier there and made Ojuku kind of military uh, uh, premier in the northeast. That is what gave Ojuku the power to declare that war. Ojuku was a, Ojuku was a terror. You know, for years we kept quiet. We don't want to see any. Them, them go, go. I'm not defending the north, but they sold us to the north. The north are making noise today. It is because of this Igbo. That's the truth. They are misbehaving like this because of this Igbo. We were, when they uh, blame Oyibo, Oyibo left region gov regional government. Use whatever you have in your state to develop your land. Ask yourself who destroy it. Who destroy it? Agu Iroso, Agu the Smarto regional government, the one we both left around. And that is what we are agitating for now. We need the restoration. We need the regional government. The, the kind of government we both left for us. With his brother, lawyer, they sign it into law that it is now federalism. Now, what you want to create to punish the rest, to suppress the rest, is what the Fulani is, is using now to oppress us. And instead of you to respect us, you come here, come and be doing like angel. I know you are not the one that did it. It's your papa, it's your mama. Now, my mama do am, my papa do am. What are you sorting me for? Shouting no coco be a destroying to your coco be a dragging my land. No, stay away from South South, South South. We will decide for themselves. Salsa will decide for themselves. We call ourselves Salsa. What is your fucking business there? If we call ourselves Nigeria, is it your papa be name? You call yourself a Biafra. Portuguese gave you Biafra. They will fight you. Enjoy your Biafra. One stupid woman tell me, oh, Biafra is Biaf uh, Biafra, me, come and join. I say, Tahar. You see how foolish you people can be. Biafra. What is come and join, Nibu? What is come and... I'm coming. Lieutenant Colonel Mutala. Let me show you people come and join, Nibu. The, the, the lie, 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 lie. I will see how, what, how, what, you are, what you guys are going to do. I'm coming to the story. I love lying. I'm going to debunk their lie today. This is come and join. This Igbo. This is come and join. Look at it. This is come and join in Igbo language. This is not, it is not Biafra. Biafra is not come and join. It is Biasonye. If Igbo speak Biasonye, that is come and join. Biasonye, come and join. Not Biafra. They can lie. The world have changed. You don't. You can bring worship. You know, a normal Igbo. When you say Biafra, he thinks Biafra is heaven. Like Muhammad and Biafra is heaven. You know, Biafra is peace. Biafra is is their hope. No, Biafra have done nothing but sort of tears, blood. There's nothing like Biafra. You are not Biafra. You are Igbo. I love some good Igbos that is trying to let the people know. Biafra is not even your name. You are not Biafra. You are Igbo. Igbo. I-G-B-O. Igbo. Not I-B-O. Igbo. You are not Biafra. Biafra will only cause you pain. The Fiatimus Yakubu Danjima did not attend the Abore meeting. Back home in Lagos, mm -hmm. Prince Akenzwa, along with other top permanent secretaries, mm -hmm. reviewed all that was agreed in Aburi. Mm -hmm. 
However, mm. Akenzo and his close to the head of state, General Yakubu Gowon, okay. and raised objections to what was agreed in Aburi. Okay. He went further to cite his concern. What is Igbo Sunyamiri is saying now? When Gowan returned from, listen, no video, he did not show us any video. He, they are just saying it, okay? That when Gowan returned from Ghana, a man, a prince, Akenzwa, review and say, Gowan, you see, once you went to Ghana, a go, uh, uh, the prince was just a secretary. Secretary, okay? He said, what you went to Ghana, to, uh, to discuss to Tuku, it is nonsense. Don't do it that way. Don't do it that way. That's it. Let me play you again. Secretary, okay. Secretaries reviewed all that was agreed in Aburi. However, Akenzo and his close to the head of state, General Yakubu Gowon, and raised objections to what was agreed in Aburi. Okay. He went further to cite his concerns in a memo dated January 8, 1967. Mm -hmm. Akenzwa said in the memo that mm. Gowon had given way too much away in Aburi uh -huh. and that it would lead to the destruction of the country. Uh -huh. He further added that Gowon had legalized total regionalism, mm. which will make the center very weak. Very weak. Okay. Prince okay. Akenzwa pointed Wait, he said Gowon have given out too much that what Gowon agreed on to destroy Nigeria and it will make the center listen very carefully it will make the federal government very weak who created the federal government Igbo man i believe maybe he died six years six months before they went to aburi again let them play it you know they, they, they think you are talking to you are talking to edo man i know we have some stupid edo people we have some we have some stupid Igbo people but Time have changed. You're talking to people. Let me play it again. That a secretary single handedly cancel all the things the generals, all the things they did because they just want to have a do man inside, a do traditional house inside. Because he was a prince, he became the Oba. He's also they have gone now, they have joined the ancestors. Now they just want to, and we are ready. We are ready for the. We know what this all Igbo Nyamiri is all about. My people don't know. I am going to fight and open their eyes. Igbo, it was in September 27, Igbo, 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 you are be greeted. Not all Igbos that hate Edo. We have good Igbos in Benin. We have over 500 to 1 million Igbos living in Benin, if I'm not mistaken. They are not our enemy. But this set of animals, these Ipog Igbos, they even like the full me more than you. Edos don't know, but they will know when the time comes. You know, Edo people, they can play foolish. But when it comes to a time, they will tell you, wait, 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 wait. You understand me? What make our forefather, not our forefather, rejected these animals? I am saying it today. If you are not saying it, it means you are a fool. How can one man tell you he, he launched a security outfit to defend your own land? Your land is not, is not in a they cannot to defend. Our land is not theirs to defend. Ina Adikan is not the one defending your land. Una go Chris die if Una not learn common sense. All those people. No, you didn't defend my land. You are not the one to. Anybody want to defend your land for free? They want to kill you, collect the land. Common sense. No, tell him no, no, thank you. Go, go defend your own. He ran away. He could not defend his own. And you want to defend your own. You understand me? They know Sent what I'm telling them. They, they, they know what I'm telling them is the truth. That is the reason when they see me, they fear. They quiver. Can't you see when some stupid they do? I call them foolish people. Because if you are not foolish, they will not be doing the things they do. They will go and make a silly video. 
You know, the kind of wrong, get, 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 go and carry the video and put it on his wall. You know, he like propaganda. Ask him, where is the Buhari you bring? I charge you, I charge you bring, I charge boyfriend. Tell me what I charge boyfriend got to do with fighting for freedom. Look, they said all oh, the meeting, the what they discuss, all oh, 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 what they discuss in, uh, uh, in uh, 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 with uh, go uh, go one. That is the reason why I said going to Abori, Ghana, to go and be discussing it was nonsense. Ojuku were there when his own brother were destroying the regional government. Oyibo left for us. It is now after six months they kick your brother out. You now remember we have to discuss the country. People, listen to what I'm talking about. Check it. Your brother was, we are suffering today because Igboma caused it. The federal government, he said, what they are saying, uh, uh, the prince of Benin said, uh, go on, you have given a nod so that it, it, uh, the central will not be powerful again. Who created the central that is that must be powerful in the first place? Is it not Igbo? <laughs> My people, we are few here. If you know what I'm saying, we have common sense now. Let us use our brain. All this Abori meeting, it was six months after the death of Abu Yuronsi, who destroyed the regional government. We were Ojuku was the uh, military head in the southeast when his brother was there. He did not talk about destruction Nigeria when the Igboma was there. Let us just sit down equal. When the, no, I talk about Wazobia. Wazobia, you know. They didn't talk about the rest time. Up to today, these monkeys, they don't recognize your, your, your uh, 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 Midwestern region, the one my papa voted for, the one my mama stay under the old sun and vote so that we have our Midwest. And at the craze, Biafra is dead and buried. You want Biafra, carry your five states, go and convince your... I know good Igbos will not listen to your nonsense. Let 8, us continue. 1967. Mm -hmm. Akenswa said in the memo that mm. Gowon had given way too much away in Aburi and that it would lead to the destruction of the country. He further added that Gowon had legalized total regionalism, which will make the center very weak. Prince Akenswa pointed out in his memo that a weak center would lead to a confederation and total disintegration of Nigeria. Mm. It was this memo that prompted Gowon to mm. summon a meeting of the secretaries to the military governments and other officials, which was held in Benin City between February 16 and 18, 1967. The, the meeting, after a boring meeting, the one they held in, uh, in Benin, Benin was the capital of the old Midwestern states. The capital was in uh, Lagos, where the head of state or president stays then. The north are the people, the northern man is the head of state. Ojuku in the southeast. Edo was like a buffer zone. You know, in Syria today, where they are fighting wars in Syria, they have buffer zone. Buffer zone, even in Syria, in Iraq, all those places where they are fighting war. Buffer zone is where the civilian, the wounded civilian, my family, can come and seek for shelter, can come and stay. No power, no, no country have any right to throw bomb there. Even in Syria today, they have buffer zone set up by the Europeans, Americans. Russia cannot throw bomb there. America cannot throw, even Turkey cannot throw bomb there. That's where people can stay to go and trade themselves. They call it buffer zone. When this, this, uh, when the Igbos, uh, Ojuku were beating the drum of war, Edo was the capital of the old Midwest. So they said, okay, let's take it to a neutral ground. We don't even have any weapons to defend our old, our, our new Midwest region then. We just got our region not even up to four years when all this katakata started. So we are trying to buy ammunition to defend our region. It was a free land. It goes there. Our videos, Igbos are saying it then. Everybody can come to Benin, come to the capital and do their business. We are, all, we are living freely there. So they brought the meeting there so that they would, you know, to talk about what, we, look, our our own. Because the stupid meeting, Ojuku, that criminal, he always talk about himself. He never talk about the, uh, the mid, uh, uh, Midwestern region. 
Our interest first. If you are doing whatsoever you are restructuring, Midwestern region first. Even to today. What, Yoruba would say something that would benefit the, uh, the Yorubas. Not say something that would benefit the North. We, Midwest, we would stand and say this is what will benefit us. We know what our Oba, the, the late, uh, the former Oba, Akezwa, the one that joined the Assassin in 1978. I know what they did so that we have our own region. So if you are whatever you meeting, you are talking, whatever you are discussing, uh, uh, our Midwest interest first, just like your Igbo Onyamiri interest first. You understand me? Let's continue the video so that it's a short video. Anyway. The meeting was a total rejection of what was agreed upon in Aburi. After the meeting, Ojoku started the On Aburi I Stand slogan. Mm. Thereafter, the federal government promulgated Decree Number 8 of 1967 mm. on March 10, 1967, mm -hmm. which gave total powers to the center. It has been so since, and the ghost of that decree still haunts us today. Mm -hmm. Many years after the war, Goron and Oju... Uh, the decree still haunts us today. Just like the regional government, your brother Igbo Nyamiri, destroy and create this federal still haunts us today. <laughs> you know what in this life in this life when you when you narrate a story one side the one that make you look like the victim you know everybody oh you are the victim oh you will remain the victim you understand me me i'm somebody like i said when i was talking about the the story between the yorubas and the and the edos i said as a do man i will stick to my edo story but that doesn't mean my edo story is 100 percent correct a Yoruba man, stick to your Yoruba story. But that doesn't mean your Yoruba story is correct. But I said, do man, I can't come out here and be telling me and they come and be rubbishing my I don't do that. Why should I rubbish my rubbish my people for you? For who? For comment and likes? Rubbish my do people. I'm a do man. I would die, do man. I'm not a I'm not from Jew. To where with Jew? I am a do. If God know a do is nothing, he would have created that tribe a do. A Saman, be a Saman, be a Saman, be proud of a Saman. If you are from Afema, you are from Afema. Beat your shirt, tell them you are from Afema. Yo, Boma, be proud of Igbo. Let nobody come and be talking to you as if you don't matter. I matter, oh, I matter die. Be proud of who you are. The time of minorities. Some say I defend my, uh, our tribe as, yeah, minority is not a cause. When you say you are the minority, it means in Nigeria you are not the majority. You are the minorities. It's not a cause. But that doesn't stop you from being whatever you want to become in life. Some people, you know, blame others for their foolishness. Some say government is not the reason I'm not progressing. Sometimes the king over is not the reason why I'm not progressing. We are millionaires from that state. If the king or the oba or the governor or the government cannot prevent these people from becoming who they want to become, you know, what they become it became in life. What did you what make you think they are the one? You are you are your problem. You are your problem. Let me just finish this video so that I will just hammer this thing once and for all. Who interpreted what was agreed upon in Aburi in their own way? One of the problems at Aburi was that a portion of the meeting was not recorded. Uh -huh. The military excused the civilians like a Kenzwa mm -hmm. at a certain stage during the meeting. Mm -hmm. And it was alleged that during this informal chat, mm -hmm. Gowan made certain commitments to Ojuku, mm -hmm. especially on full regionalism. Mm -hmm. As long as Nigeria remains under one federalism, the memo of Prince Akenzwa, mm. who later became Oba Erejawa the first, mm. which made Gowon cancel the Aburi Agreement mm. and ultimately led to the civil war, uh, will forever be remembered. You know. Powerful. He finish. <laughs> he go <people>. Finish. Yeah. <laughs> finish. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Aneta Obochuku. See them. Finish. <laughs> we must continue to tell this Nikon pool the truth. Let's say the Oba gave opinion. Let's say the Oba gave opinion. And his opinion was a good one, intelligent one. Let's say his opinion, yes, intelligent. I am proud. 
Yes, he gave intelligent opinion. The Igbos are playing with fire. I hope you are playing with fire. That will consume you people and consume your generation to come. Let's assume it. what you are saying is true. Yes, I'm proud. I don't mind. I'm proud. So the other is not, not part of your military. A secretary is the one. <laughs> if you Igbos, you know, you always claim you are educated. You are too smart. You are more educated. You always claim you are educated. If you are well educated, Tell me how a secretary opinion can change can change a document that is well signed. Let's assume a company to manage a company. Let's assume, you know, let's talk about managing a company. How can a secretary change what the managing director, what what have been signed and sealed already? You see, you always blame everybody for your for your inability to solve your problem. You are blame Ogbemudia is the cause of your nemesis. You blame Queen uh, Queen of England. You say she's the cause of your nemesis. You are blame Awolowo. Awolowo is the cause of your nemesis. You are blame uh, who again? Uh, the North. They are the cause of your nemesis. You blame Gowan. Gowan is the cause of your nemesis. Uh, now you blame uh, the former Oba of Benin is the cause of your nemesis. You blame the Yoruba. Hey, <laughs> Jimmy. So you blame everybody, everybody for your foolishness. Your brother, all your Igbo brother always do things right. Everybody is your problem. We all have problem. We are looking for who to blame. Now, now we go to blame for our own problem too. This, uh, this blaming game. Everybody we go to blame on too. So the civil war, you blame the Queen of England, you blame Lord Lugard, <laughs> you blame uh, Agolo, you blame the Eurobars, you blame the the Northerners. You blame uh, Gowan. You blame who again? Who again? I think it is our former Uber now. Tomorrow now you blame me. You blame my father. You blame, 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 blame. You continue to blame, blame people till you die. You can continue to blame, blame, blame people till you die. The former Uber of Benin act under the capacity of it. Of a secretary, not like the you know this kind of secretary, like the kind of secretary we have today, we have nowadays. And I will never subscribe to any plan, any evil plan to ridicule our former Oba. Never. That is the reason why people like us, when we are saying things, sometimes like we are defending Buhari. Say the truth and leave it. When you begin to lie, it doesn't matter if my oba. It may be I'm saying it because it's my oba. No. When you lie against people, then it's my as the wounded civilian to defend that person. When you begin to lie against people, it's my responsibility to defend that person. Stop cutting corners, trying to force people to join your foolishness. We are the adults. We are not partake of Biafra and we can never be part of your stupid Biafra. Must we associate with you? Must we associate with your own ideology? No. We are compared to kingdom. We don't drag boundaries. We don't force people. Go and mind your business. And with the way you guys are doing now, we are going to join and fight again. I know. I know. You are beating the wall of drum now. 50 years time, your children will be blaming people like me. <laughs> you are beating the wall of drum now. The wall, the, uh, the drum of war now. Beating the drum of war. 
We are warning you now. You don't want to listen. 50 years to come now, I believe your own children will be blaming people like, like me. I am the one who caused the Second Civil War. <laughs> you know, they have First world, world War, Second World War. We are preparing for the Third World War now. I believe you are preparing for the Second Civil War now. Nobody is going anywhere. Everybody will die there in that continent, Jay, with the way you guys are doing it now. Huh? Niger Delta want to go. You said no. They must enjoy Nigeria because your brother was the head of state. Now you want to go. But some people might say, ah, after 50 years now, why can't we let the Igbo go? Nami o the Igbo. They tell you, say, my people don't rule that country before. Now look, in Edo, our king, Omonoba Nedo Uku Apolo Polo Oba Ewari the second went to Abuja to go and talk. He talked to Buari so that we can have seaport in Edo. To Buari, our governor have been there more than two times so that they, we can build seaport, so that our youth can work there. This problem of courtesy, people killing people will reduce. Buari said they should go to Senate. That he don't give a shit about the same Buari building train station in EJ in his fatherland. I don't know. Building a train station there. Even by, I don't know, some say they are building refinery there. He didn't tell them to go to Senate. Build a seaport in Edo in Nigeria so that Edo youth can work. He said we should go to Senate. And uh, at the Senate, everybody kept quiet. Oh, EJ, man. They talked about it. Hey, do you want to have their support? Did you who support the the, the motion? All Igbo senator kept quiet. All the robust senator kept quiet. All the northern senator kept quiet. And you think I'm happy with Nigeria? No matter what, when a, a place where at least hundred thousand youth can walk, when we send our cars, we buy a car here, send it home, we not pass through Lagos, pass through Edu. We pay tasks to Edo, so Edo can be beautiful like Lagos. They said no. That's it. That's it. You think we are happy? We are happy? You might be happy. Me, I'm not happy with Nigeria. But don't come and insult me as if you are the cause. Don't come and be playing your lies. And we, if we would we we'll separate ourselves from this nonsense, Nigeria, we we'll separate for good. We don't separate to be part of this. Igbo nonsense. The Oba did the writing. The Oba did the writing. At the right time. The old South South. Then they fear Ojuku. They fear Agu Yoronsi. And they fear in Adiaziki where they can never be trusted. They are snake. They are corny. Then their own, their own is what they know. They don't care about others. When when they were on top, they don't talk about social Nigeria. They did not go to Aburi. The moment you keep their brother out, you could remember, oh, let us go to Aburi. Aburi, Aburi kill Una there. The same, uh, the same Ojuku, uh, after leading the nation to war, that claimed the, over life, uh, claimed the life of over three, month, 3 million, begging to return to Nigeria. Coward. And he joined the answers to destroy that country the more. People, people don't know. They tell you, uh, somebody declare war means means that person is a good man. The same man who led the troop, who led soldier to Niger Delta to go and kill people because they want to declare because they declare Niger Delta Republic is the one you want to hero worship. You should be hero worshiping uh, Jasper Adakaboru, not Ojuku. Whenever. Uh, Demijo, they are remembering Adakaboro. You see those Igbo bastards, they are there insulting Adakaboro. What did Adakaboro do to you? He, he declared Niger death. Your brother killed him. Your brother put they sentenced Adakaboro to, to death, not life imprisonment. Oh, uh, 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 Agu Yuronsi government sentenced him to death. Then he later. Destroy the regional government and say, Oh, it is because of the oh, yeah, Niger Delta. You want to declare Niger Delta Republic? Okay, or oh, federal government owns all the mineral resources in Nigeria. It will make a park well. 
I call it disturbance with this now. Yeah, yeah, nonsense. If you want to fight for Biafra, fight for Biafra. Don't go back to history. Because we are suffering in Nigeria now. You are the cause. You created something that will benefit you alone. And God punish you now. And the answer is the one using it to punish the rest of us. And the same one now. Now they run them out. I, I am still saying, you know, they can come, come and debate me. Sit down, you sit down. It is uh, speaking those, uh, 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 this Igbo English that make you educated, or speaking uh, 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 UK slams make you educated, or speaking uh, you men, American slams. No! Sit down, let us talk. Tell me how you are going to get your Biafra. Your South is a locked land. Tell me how you are going to get your Biafra. Explain to me. Explain to me how you are going to get your Biafra. How? Tell me how. Explain to me. Explain to us. How you, to, how you, you are going to get your Biafra? You have over 11 point something million Igbos. Have properties in the north. How you are going to get your Biafra? Explain to me. Let Nadi Kanu come. That will, next year it will be the topic. I will use two months to call you people. I need Nadi Kanu to come and debate me. Let him tell me your plan. How are you going to get your country? I want to know. I'm, I'm talking about the Igbo living in the North alone. Or you think when you when when you have your Biafra, Igbo will still hold their businesses in in in, in Yoruba land. Uh, in Edo, you try. Uh, look, the moment, if for instance, you have your five states as a country, everybody relocate there, so that where you are selling your stuff in Benin, Edo man can work there. You can't be Biafra country and I come to my country and occupy the viable place. No. Let the people first occupy the viable place. Then you people can come. Take visa and come. You don't reason that. You have not even convinced your people yet. You think you would, you think you can have Biafra country without a referendum? Refer, referendum start at home. Igbo will do their referendum first. You think you know, they cannot uh, you know, win with this leadership, with the way it behaves? When Ojuku declared war, he said they did the referendum. Igbo's alone, Igbo's alone did the referendum. Igbo's alone, and they include other tribe in the in, in South South. Ask them, the man, the man that was second in charge, uh, uh, the one that uh, uh, that hand over to the Nigerian government, uh, David Defion. What did the people do to him? His own people did to him after the war. They banished him. For, for forcing them for joining Ujuku Biafra nonsense. They banish him. He's a uh, tribe. Is he not from a uh, jaw or uh, yeah, a jaw or Chekiri? No, not Chekiri. Uh, you know, his people banished him. That the, that the war was not theirs. You forced them into this nonsense. The war is about Igbo. Up to today, this Igbo Biafra is about Igbo. Igbo, 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 Igbo. Nothing wrong with Igbo, Igbo are good people. But this is their story. You know, try to be the, you know, the, 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 the angel. Others are just doing them wrong. We are maltreating them. They are the angel. The only one God created. The rest of us are, we are for the devil. No, tell you your proper, your people joined to destroy that country. Let me tell you, people, during Obasanjo, that is the reason I respect Obasanjo today. Nobody is perfect. I, I don't like Obasanjo. There are some certain things during a Jonathan regime I don't like him, but I don't need to. I don't need to hate Obasanjo because of what he did during Jonathan, because the same Jonathan they are all useless. John Jonathan greeting, uh, where they, the name of uh, this COVID 19 greetings with Buhari, just less set of people. They didn't they care about the poor masses again. <laughs> I don't, because of Jonathan, and hate people forever. Yeah. To hell with Jonathan. So if we not Jonathan, if not because Jonathan was a disgrace, someone like Buhari will not be president. The first South South man to be president. Go and look at Bayesa. Bayesa is not better than a do. A state that produces president. It's not better than they do in terms of 
in, uh, 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 the infrastructure. What did he do for his people? Did he restructure this country? So I still respect the pastor just somehow. Remember, he paid Nigeria debt. He won them uh, Bacha Buhari. He paid almost all. You can compare with Buhari who borrowed from China to finance budget. Forget, Abbasio might not be, you might not like Abbasio. When OPC, they were messing up in, uh, in Lagos. He didn't say they are my people. There are some, something good about Abbasio. You understand me? I'm not trying to praise Abbasio there because he, he, he joined those group that brought Buhari. You understand me? So what I'm saying, in some department, Abbasio is also good. You know this Igbo Nyamri bastard, they hate Abbasio too. You remember that uh, or a fight, what Abbasajor did. They hate Abbasajor today. And what they hate people for is what I love people for. Because they are not truthful to themselves. What they hate, they, what happened? The rest of all, what, if they tell you they hate that man, go and investigate the reason why they hate that man. If they tell you they hate, during the oh, civil war, they hate, go and investigate it first. Don't just hate people because they tell you that man was bad. Go and investigate first. If Ojuku have won that war, <laughs> by now most of the South South land, they will claim all. <laughs> if Ojuku, maybe uh, uh, that war, Ojuku was victorious, for instance. If Ojuku have won that war, Igbo will claim everybody. You claim your land. Igbo. You don't, you don't. Give them one shop here. They will drive everybody away. They use them. You think they are they, they are so clever. They use charm everything by biting. They will entice you and drive you away and put their brother there. The way they will, the reason why our fathers refuse. They are not fully sure. Those our fathers who have got, most of all, we are not born yet. Then sit down, sit down. I am from South South today. During the war, no, after the independence, it was three original region. Who created this three region? Oyibo. Oyibo that created the region. Igbos are swearing for them. These Ipo bastards are swearing for them till today. But still, they like what they created. They hate the Nigeria. They like Southeast. Hypocrisy. Go, go one bad. You hate Nigeria because you are not the one on top of Nigeria. You love the Southeast. You want to conny conny. Your land, your locked land, locked land. You need Aqua Ibon River State, Cross River. You know, they are close to the sea. You need them. You still believe in this. They are useless. Madam Briggs. Madam Briggs said it. Oibo created this South East South East 1914, 100 or something years ago. They have right now to say they are not part of that Oibo Lord Logat creation again. If you Igbo, you still believe in Lord Logat creation, then believe in Nigeria too. Ijele, my boy, making a video the other day. The one uh, Igbo, you know, they, they think they are smart. Call Ijele. I started telling Ijele, uh, what was your tribe? What is Nigeria? This and that. Nigeria is just 60 years. Nigeria is not 60 years. Nigeria is more than something years. They created that. They call it Nigeria, 1914. Nigeria, Nigeria, 1914. Your own Igbo brother signed it. They signed, they signed. Edoma did not sign. Uroboma did not sign. Ishakiri did not sign. Don't come and ask me what is the meaning of Nigeria area. You should be asking your father what is Nigeria area. You are the people who signed it. Hmm? And they hand over power to you people. Hmm? Now that the Nigeria area don't sour. You don't love him. All of us go die there. <laughs> you might not like the way I'm saying it. If you just come, humble yourself. 
my brother are not perfect you are not perfect the condition of nigeria how we go down then we don't go talk about how to claim my land we're talking about okay this is what we are going to do you know to solve this problem to rectify this problem don't come and be telling me as if a doma destroyed the regional government a doma that fought for independent Anthony Nauru. i'm not seeing his face on nigerian currency your brother face did it. The only Edo man who joined Amtony now. We are not seeing his face on Nigerian currency. Nobody is talking about him. But you, your people are there. You come here, come and be uh, talking to us as if we, now we destroy Nigeria. Now we destroy him. Now the same boat, me and you did. As you did, feel him. I said over 100,000 Edo's youth died in that mediterranean sea coming to europe for greener pastors we don't die because of bad weather running out of the country so you are the only one that is suffering that you come coco biama don't come my place with all the rubbish don't come here and do nigeria bad nigeria bad don't do it we know nigeria bad don't come here no don't come here come and be acting Cooking lies, propaganda. Okay, go. This is the great the nation now with propaganda. Say a people who cook up Jibri story in Nigeria. The person, and you know, when you keep telling, like me now, if I want to fool people here, I know I have good people here. These few people who, who still listen to me, I know nobody can brainwash people like you. I respect you people. You know, I was, uh, let me make some points, you know. You come here, I will repeat the same thing, repeat, 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 repeat. Before you know it, people, uh, you see, I've seen people, they'll tell me, are you really sure Buhari is, is still alive? Why? Because of the things Buhari do. And lies, you know, the camera is cooking lies. You know, every day they hear lies. And Buhari is messing up. So they, they are state of confusion. They don't even know what to believe. Because really, the things Buhari do, uh, this is nonsense, you know. Uh, maybe he is really dead. But we that know Buhari, we know the Buhari of 1983. And again, it has never happened before. The idiot that is cooking this life lives in London. He said the hospital where they do the surgery is in London. Let him go to the hospital. Go there and demonstrate. Give us Buhari death certificate. The idiot, the Igbo idiot who claimed that he was there when they were burying Buhari in Saudi Arabia. Give us some proof. Go to Sudan. Go and look, look for Sudan family. Nothing, no proof. Just like they said they, they went to uh, UN. No proof. Nothing. You know, they can, uh, went to UN. That's it. No proof. Nothing, nothing. That's it. We, the world. The world, have, the world have changed. The world have changed. When you want people to believe nonsense, when you cook up nasty stories, at least give people proof. You have to prove it. You have to prove it, I'm sorry. You have to prove it. You don't just say things. It is funny that Obasanjo don't know the man in Asurok. <laughs> Obasi, you don't know. Jonathan, I don't even know the Buhari you hand over to. Yeah. Because you can lie. You, because when you are on air, 1,000 people watch you doesn't make you more important than others. Because you are on air. All those people that keep saying, <sighs> Ina Dikano, that stupid boy, you know, he was saying something one day concerning this Oyibo. Oyibo, you know, that village in rivers in river state they they went and removed the signboard of onyibo they changed it to obigbo the governor said that's an insult it's not your land you are from emo state they don't come to a, a, their state and they're removing signboard and they flag their terrorist flag that slave flag there they said remove it animals Zombies. Then Nadi Kanu came up, you know, for you to know how foolish this book can be. He said, Can't you see Rome? 
It is not wrong to be that English, UK always change things. It is the British who create Nigeria who change the name. It is Obibu. Can't you see Rome? The real name is, is Rome. It's Rome, uh, Roma. We change it to Rome. Can't you see Germany? The real name is this. They change this to this. English changes to that. English change the other one. It is all, all these people were singing, oh, what do they call him? A oh, prophet of our time. Oh, prophet, heal us. Oh, prophet. Hey. <laughs> so, English call it Rome. And what the, what the fuck are you talking about? Meanwhile, you see that England. The Italian is talking about that the, in English we say Rome. The real name is Roma. You know, you see that England. The same Italian call England Inglaterra. Inglaterra. Terra land. Inglaterra. That's England. That's what they call it here. If they're in their school, they write Inglaterra. They don't call it England. Inglaterra. That is how they pronounce England. England is not England. I have right to pronounce Rome as Rome. This Italian call Nigeria Nigeriani. Are we Nigeriani? They call Morocco, Moroccino. Every tribe have what they call like here in Germany, Jama. They have what they call uh, that uh, uh, Nigeria, Senegal in their language. This is what Inadi Kanu use. To deceive his gulib his julebo followers, and they were saying, "Oh, too clever, too no matter, no matter what this nonsense making the kind of clever, this nonsense making a prophet. These guys, they are gone. They will come. They can't you see? Before they used to come here in some, I blocked all of them. The few ones we have here now, I just leave this one so that we have opposition." I'm not here to you to say things you always support, for instance. You are, everybody have right to say, oh, you are wrong here. Yeah. I'll read the comment. I tell you, okay, this is how I see it. When, the language I use sometimes, because they use it for people too. So we use it for them. I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. That's why I keep telling the Igbos here. This, I'm not after you. You know he's your brother. He's your own brother. During civil war, your Edo and Delta was never part of your Southeast region. And those state that is that was part of your Southeast, now you own South is yours, now your papa name. If those those states that was part of Southeast said, ah, we don't want to be part of Southeast again, oh boy, they have rights now. What the fuck is wrong with you people? That's the reason why a governor of a Boeing state, uh, uh, Omai, David Dumai, you know, they went to see. Uh, uh, we kid the other day. He said it. Even the Igbos in uh, in Jos, they are, it is a referendum. They have right to choose the path they will follow. Just like when we call for a referendum from Midwestern region, then we have the Delta Igbo. They we see them Delta Igbo. We call them Delta Igbos. Before it was it was Bender Igbos. They voted. They have right for them to say, oh, they don't want to be part of South South again. It's through referendum. One of Coco Biama boy cannot stay in London begin to tell you all the weird, the right woman rapper. You don't know which kind of woman rapper be now. Everybody, you know, the Chris, the rap rapper, the Now, can't you see uh, all, all the when in Adikan is talking there? All of those Igbos. Did you see Yoruba? <laughs> Did you see Ikaman there? Did you see Rubu people there? It shows you guys are fool. For you to know, okay, what you are doing, you have to balance it. Because when people comment now, when people tell you people anything, you are going to come and say, hey, you must die, you are this, you are that. That's what you people do. You are crazy, you are mad, you insult. And this will insult give you your fucking Biafra. Biafra is dead and buried. I keep telling you people, forget about Biafra. Biafra is gone. How are you going to get your Biafra in your five states? You know, you know Petito, she said it the other day that, it is locked land. Locked land. You can, how are you going to survive? You have blamed uh, Ogbemudia. 
that is the reason why you don't have your Biafra. You blame Queen of England is the reason why you don't have your Biafra. You blame a world war is the reason why you don't have your Biafra. You blame the Yoruba, they are the reason why you don't have your Biafra. You blame the Northerners. You blame Gowan. You blame uh, who, uh, this, uh, 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 the former Oba of Benin now is the reason you don't have your Biafra. My God. If the Oba did not, I don't know, maybe I don't know what you say he said that make you not to have your Biafra. I am still saying it now. Your Biafra is dead and buried. You are beating the drum of war now. I believe 50 years time your own children will come. Your own children will come. Because they sent me this video. I look at it. I say, okay, there is no proof here. You didn't tell me, you didn't show any documents. And so, uh, 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 even though uh, 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 the memo you claim, it doesn't, yeah, uh, what's up? He's working, he's a secretary to, he was a secretary to the government. He had to do his job. What's up? He's the one, uh, you went to war. It's your brother who declared the war. When you declare war, you will lose. Did you? Thank you, my brother, uh, Justice uh, Ekagwere. Yes, let him relocate to the ancestral land in his dream. Yeah, Biafra have no land. He will have land there. Biafra don't have any land there. That's the truth. Relocate to his dream. Why can't you just relocate to his dream? There's no land there. You don't have any land there. There's land, no land there. The best thing for you, relocate to his dream. You're always looking for whom to blame for your stupidity, for your deficiency in politics. Presenting to be uh, 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 persecuted, innocent, you are, you know, to claim innocent angel. You are the angel, the, the children of God. You are the worst. How can it? Look, the name of Basenjo. Obasenjo said, he is the president, for instance. The vice president is from the north. The senate president must come from the southeast. Under our passage, we had almost six senate president. <laughs> almost six senate president. They will bring this one. Ibuma will say no. He's from U O O O Uro Chuku. He's not supposed to be senate president. They kick that one. Out. They make another one. Oh, this one is from. Um, He's from uh, he's from Abba. He's not supposed to <laughs> they another one. Ah, this one from you know he's from uh, Obiaruko. He's not supposed to be the senior president. They bring another one. Ah, this one is from Ebony. Ebony people with Igbo, they are not really Igbos. Then almost six senior president. Almost six. They were fighting themselves. And they claim they are more intelligent than the rest. In this game of politics, Igbos are zero. It goes at zero. I saw that our brother, uh, where is his name? Oh, Mayo Gundari. I saw him online. Just I said, thank God he's back. But this time, I pray for him to use his brain. Because that boy has been brainwashed. He has lost his senses. I pity him. I saw him just I said, this guy. I talked in Adikano, asked him not to come on air. And he was telling, he was saying that he, was, he had been blocked. You understand me? He said, thank God you are back. I hope, I hope you will not, you know, see me talking nonsense, deceiving these people. I saw a, a Fanny Coyote supporting this nonsense, this Southeast terrorist nonsense. Nigeria must divide. The same Fanny Kayo day, he went to a, a certain church. The pastor there said, you are going to be a, a, a president of this country, Nigeria. He fell on his knees and started uh, thanking the, uh, the pastor. The man that is telling the Igbo, this way Nigeria. Nigeria is fucked up. But they said you are going to be the president of this country. And you, and you and he knelt down begging. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I will rule this country, Nigeria. <laughs> right. Hmm. Look, the truth of the matter is this. You guys are on the wrong track. And you are heading to destruction. Biafra is dead and buried. Why we do what we do every day? 
when the killing starts when the army you know when i mix a video the other day i said you know they kind of said they have some guns in our butchers some people were saying oh i am wrong why am i doing this at the end of the day are you not seeing them now we take a 47 they will come and tell you you know they always you know criminal they, they defend themselves with another criminal and say oh the the full army they carry ak-47 now a full animal is the president is your brother the president use your teeth i mean your 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 tongue to count your teeth we condemn the full army roaming about ak-47 that's for me and I also con I also condemn this Onyamiri Baxter that is roaming about with AK-47. The Fulani, they have been proscribed Africa as a terrorist, but not in Nigeria. This hypo terrorist they have been proscribed in Nigeria, either you like it or not. Ibari should leave office today. The, the coming president is going to stand by that. The coming president will cannot de de prescribe you like that. He must wash your character. He must wash you for a year, two, three, four years. He must you must show that you have changed. Otherwise, he will use that law to cast you people. In Oyibo, in River State, we can use that law mm, to cast you. So you don't know what you are up against. I saw some do who reason upside down. Some Igbos. They you know they are they might be they might not they might be Igbos, you know, but they reason upside down, just like the IPO people, Igbos. How can you say that anybody that did not support uh, Southeast security force, the person you in swearing for the person, insulting the person? You understand me? Can't look at you. Uh, who is Kanu Kayode? Is Fanny Kayode? Okay, maybe you want to say Fanny Kayode. Okay, <laughs> I told you. I told you. I believe you want to say Fanny Kayode. <laughs> it is Kanu Kayode. He knows why he's supporting them. He's, he's, he's supporting them for reasons you now. You know every. You know what is happening in Nigeria, good or bad. <laughs> supporting them for reasons i don't care whatever reason they are supporting you support anybody good for you but what people like us what we don't like know your boundary you might be fighting a good cause but know your boundary you understand me? know your boundary man the other day i said to them i say they said uh as of uh, my city as of my city invited buari Bari refused to obey the invitation. I still see all these onya, all those igbo, ni compost. They are crying. Oh, Bari, Bari. To me, I ask them, what make what are you different from Bari? Is your master in a kind of different from Bari? I don't understand. When the rest of us are talking, you're not supposed to talk. I ask them, tell me, among these IPOB leaders. All your leader, people like them, which uh, is four and the rest. Tell me any one of them that can summon in Adikano. So, if you're not different from Buhari, you won't talk to you anyhow. I call you black man, insult you, send you message, tell you go and do this. Buhari, the elected Buhari is elected president. You give him the mandate to tell you what to do, and you do it sometimes. But you have a man. Who makes himself Lord over you? Who send you, give you, go and go and die? You go and die. So, I don't know. What makes your leader different from Buhari? I don't understand. What makes your leader different from Buhari? Look at the, the man that cannot even, cannot even save his own group. His own deputy is calling him a liar. They are fighting themselves now. Uh, uh, the stupid Ushe Mefo on one side making noise. The useless Inadikan on the other side making noise. 
We have so many of them. Oh, what they do is to fight themselves now. Criminals. They are fighting themselves now. In Adikano, ever he, he knows if he make them, they register that that IPO group. In Adikano and Uchemefo, the only two people that register that have their name on that document is Uchemefo and In Adikano. They are both directors. In Adikano cannot just act them. There must be a written letter. It must be the uh, Uchemefo must take a lawyer. In Adikano don't need that. Ever since Ushimefo said it's not part of them, he still tell them I am still the vice, the deputy leader of IPOP. Ask yourself why. Others will say I'm not part of you and go. Ushimefo is still there. You know what he's doing. I believe they are not paying him now. And this is what he's going to use against them. You know, the can knows if he say anything, pay him against Ushimefo, that's the end of this nonsense. All the atrocity, there will be all their all the stealings, all they are stealing the way they are brainwashing their people. Who she may fall will open book for her because they are going to go to court. You, you can't just sack who she may fall. You know, the task they are paying UK government is not enough. So when they go to court, who she may fall, I open the caca one. And the government, UK government, will have to know what is going on, how much they are realizing. And how much they're supposed to pay. And now they can't don't need that. He can't serve with him. He can't sack with him for. He knows. Shima for might be stupid, might look dull, but he's a very dull criminal. What we, uh, and why you know the can is a very harsh criminal. The both of them, God will punish the both, God will punish the both of them. They will not go scot free for the pains they have caused their people. Inadi Kanu will come out and sack everybody. Inadi Kanu will just come out and sack anybody. Let him come out and say, Uche Mefo, now. He's hiding, sponsoring Miss Kranz to be insulting Uche Mefo. I'm not saying Uche Mefo, Uche Mefo and Inadi Kanu, they will both suffer. What you sow is what you reap. But Inadi Kanu will not date and be Talking to Ushimefo. Ushimefo might be dull when he's talking. But he have those that is telling him what to do. And he's smart too. He can sack him. But go and mark it. You know, they are not, ever since he left them. But he's still telling them he's the deputy director. He's the deputy leader there. They are not, I believe they are not paying him now. It will remain like this. Maybe a year, two years, three years. Maybe a year. He will begin to ask for his. You know, the people are paying a lot of money. Paying Adikano a lot. Adikano is not working now. Can you see how he's becoming fresher now? My guy, 2015. As you see me now, 2015. The only difference, I'm older now. But I'm always like this. Check in Adikano 2015 picture. He make Bengarenge. He make like this. Checking out the canoe now. Money don't show. Ever since Barry got him arrested, 2016, people begin to push money there. Can't you see Buari? Hey, Buari, for instance, Buari is not the president of Nigeria. With his age, he will be hold. But Buari shine now. He's the president. He will do, you don't eat. That's it. He will look fresher as a president. After all, Barry and the, Barry, you know, there is a president who always think, oh, my country, like them Obama. They always think, oh, their country is falling, oh, things are bad. What am I going to do to save my country? Oh, my time. I don't want my time to be like this. <laughs> Those are the kind of president who become president and then they become lean, you know, hold. Barry is not a president. Can't you see when you are telling Barry people are fighting? He's laughing. Don't give a shit. Are you, to him, are you people kids? What are you fighting for? At my age, you want me to be bothering about you? Get the fuck out. You'll be looking for someone that to interpret. But he don't really care for anybody. But he don't even care for his own people. Who... You think Bari give a shit? Yesterday, Bari was telling the country to give the security and uh, these uh, security chips time to walk. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> me myself, I look, I say, what? I clean my eyes. 
<laughs> Buari leave? Is it really from Buari? He said we should give them uh, time to walk. <laughs> Buari. He said we should give them time to walk. That we, we were worrying them. It's not easy. So, look at him at the canoe, the same thing. A man, every month. They said they were paying. They asked Ushime for the other. They were paying you four thousand pounds. He didn't deny it because he know the person that will ask him the question. No, so if they are paying Ushime for four thousand pounds every month, four thousand pounds. Look, let me tell you people some secret. We here in Europe, none of us is even four thousand pounds except those of us that have maybe African store. You have your own African store, your own business. Those that is working, how can you how are you going to receive that four thousand pounds? How? How you can't even receive three thousand from two thousand? Eh? Many receiving one thousand five euro, one thousand some one thousand brothers here receiving one thousand every month. So one thousand two, so one thousand five. Going to pay you four thousand. Are you a doctor? How? Even trailer drivers eh? from eh, we have our brothers who drive trailer or long buses, you know, two thousand something. Then you see she may for it's not driving trailer driving anything and you receiving four thousand every month how much did you think which how much did you think in the canoe is receiving so that's the reason why if you see Nadi canoe he's more fair now he's not he's not like a white man a man when he was in in africa in africa he would dress you know this igbo regali you know this igbo style of dressing like my own now, you see this other, but this is our symbol in you know, do. Let me show you a picture. The time they claim they are going to UN. They were they, they all of them dress like rabbi, like European boys. Not even they don't even appear as if you can't tell if they are egos. People that is fighting for Biafra. Instead of them to dress, to show to this people. Boy Buhari is going to the UN to go and make a speech. He dressed like a Fulani. Buhari that you people are insulting. Dress like Fulani. Jonathan put on their, you know that their cap. That uh, is your cap. We are praying for the day. <laughs> Maybe if we still have Nigeria then. Me, I really wish everybody go their own way. But not like insulting me. Talking nonsense, and try to drag my land. If every if it is to drag my land, drag Robo land, drag your land, everybody died there in Nigeria. You understand me? <laughs> to disintegrate a nation, it's not mama you, it's not all this uh, simple talk. Oh, he said that genuine, genuine like agreement. You understand? You understand me? Dialogue and uh, all war. For the war as they ask for the war side aspect of war me we don't want war for the war forget war i can't be here in europe um, because uh, i'll tell you war 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 it, if my son my children are in nigeria you think I, I, I will support war no i know my children are here still i will not support war in adikano is here and try to instigate war if his if his family his wife especially his wife Still in uh, 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 from Abia State, uh, he will not be talking about fighting war, killing police. He know what he's doing. When he was living in Nigeria, he took his mother, his his father, his wife, and his kids. They ran away. That's it. That is the people that is dear to him. You see that his stupid brother, fine boy, is on his own. You understand me? He knows his sister is safe. Police woman, those ones are safe. So. The truth of the matter is this. In a day, Kano cannot dare it to be insulting. Okay, uh, what is the solution? Uh, I tell the people to leave Kano. Uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you see? Uh, I like this kind of question. Uh, uh, this, uh, uh, I don't know if it's a woman or man. He said, What is the solution? You, uh, what is the solution? You that is asking me the solution. Did you know the solution? What is the solution? Solution. I know. I don't want to insult you because you ask 
a good question too. But don't ask me as if you are, uh, 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 you are paying me to tell you the solution. Use your sense. You go. This phone you are using now to write rubbish. Use it to go and tell Nigeria the solution. You should be asking Ina Adikano to stop Okoko Biyama. What is that? Go to Ina Adikano if they will not swear for your life. Go to Ina Adikano. You don't belong here. Fools like you, Ina Adikano said, don't listen to people like me. Go to Ina Adikano. Go and ask him for the solution. You don't know the solution. It's only a fool who don't know the solution to the Nigerian problem. The solution is to your God, your semi-God, to come down from their high horse and stop disturbing us with Okoko Biyama. Edo is not part of his Biafra. Delta is not, that is the solution. If you want freedom, if you want your Biafra, relocate to Anabra. Go and fight and die for your problem there. Hmm? Go and die. The solution now is that your brother, your semi-God, they have already declared the Fulani as that. You know, I make it under you people. Look, let me tell you, Fulani is not my problem like that. Because they say Fulani, what they are doing in the south, coming to our south to keep people, I don't like it. They are killing their own people too. So if you hate Buari because he's a Fulani man, you don't belong here. Hate Buari because he afraid us as a president. He failed, I will understand. If I tell you what my people are doing, Edo people are doing to people, to people don't like it. But you, you don't generalize it. So if you need the problem, if you, you know the solution, the solution, go and tell your semi-god to focus on his own people. <laughs> that is the solution. Leave Edo land alone. Leave Delta State alone. Stop insulting your governors. Stop insulting your traditional rulers. Corrupt or no corrupt. Have some respect for your people. Now you create, tell your, tell, if you want a solution, the solution, what is his name again, my brother? Don't worry. The solution, I'll tell you, the solution is that. Is it not a rule something? Uh -huh. Let me tell you the solution. The solution, huh? go and tell your semi-god. Huh? Tell your semi-god that he have no right whatsoever, single and deadly, to create a security force and say for the whole south. He's not Lord over any. <laughs> I don't want to go deep because I'm about to close this program. Go and tell him. You don't have that right. If Nigeria ban, Nigeria ban. I your papa cousin. Now my papa cousin. If Nigeria pay you, bad, they make you verse. Carry your anger. Go die for a sea. Don't carry your anger. They talk to me. Don't carry your anger. They call me. Now my own thing. I day here. They do. Like you know, they can't do your own in your own platform. They do your own. Uh, what till everybody talk. Provide, I'm not threatening you. I'm not threatening anybody. If you are tired of listening to me, come out here. You know, they cannot make a list of those who are supposed to listen to. Uh, you know, you will not see my name there. Huh? He put this idiot for Jenny where this waiting saying, I you Oba, I ain't not making better for life. He put all of them there. Uh, all those always say, uh, they see Igbo man tell them, say, I'll give you Biafra. Where man, I go fall from Ebu. If they will cost their people, they will cost their land. They said they get soldier we go occupy their own papa pa, mama land. Mm -mm. It's good for una. History will judge una. You understand me? A regional Obama cannot, Ibu man cannot tell a regional Obama because Nigeria are bad. I'm going to destroy Yoruba. Uh -huh. The same Igbo who have not been able to beautify, to build their own southeast, their governors, their state is not the best in Nigeria. Politically, Oyibo left that country for all of us. Your uh, Aousa Fulani overshadowed them. Oyibo had over power to them. The Ena Adikano have never achieved anything in his life. He started agitating for Biafra when he was 44, 45 years. He had nothing to show for it. Now, he started... Uh, they cannot shout, you understand me? Don't. Go to your God, go and tell him. Okoko Biyama, Elohim, Elohim, it's okay. Make it give you solution. He has been promising you Biafra for 10 years. Since 2000 and, you know, 2010, they have been shouting for Biafra. 10 years today. This December, he said he will give you Biafra. He knows you will ask him where is the Biafra. Then he have to create this uh, Southeast. He knows you don't have the legal right to a man. Uh, they, they prescribe already. Uh, a man who ran the way after Python dance. Is, uh, 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 January is supposed to be in the courts. He's telling you, 
it has never happened before. Uh -huh. He tell you in create them, you know, you know ask them. Well, who give you the power? Where do you get this gun from? How did you train these people? Are, are you uh, Nigeria really a monkey country where you know they can have its own security force now? If you can have your security force, why are you not in Nigeria? You come here asking me for a solution. Go and ask now they can who knows it all, who knows everything for a solution. Huh? All the teachings, why I don't teach yes is common sense, you know, learn. You they ask me for a solution. Me, I get solution for Nigeria problem. Now me I dare you know. None of us, <laughs> none of us get solution. <laughs> we are just here trying to reason together. The solution is simple before, not the solution or the. Sometimes blood go flow. Especially, you see these answers would have been the solution. You know, go leave streets. Boys remain there. Government will come. These answers they will shoot at you. You remain there. Yeah. After a month, two months, solution will come. But me, I am in Europe. In this place, I can go out three o'clock in the night, not afraid. One o'clock in the night, not afraid. Because I am safe. My children and I here. <laughs> my kids are here. Because I'm safe with my wife, my beautiful wife. Although I lost my mom, my, my dad is dead. I lost my mom, I think eight months, nine months ago. The barrier is January. But I will not say because I'm here. I have nothing to lose. The, stay on the streets. Like you know, they can your your semi-god. You see that policeman, kill him there. Uh -huh. Use the gun to kill the other policeman. Now they Chris. You suppose to respect me. Who cannot tell you that? Than he who is in UK. When they came for him in his house, he did not use the gun to kill that policeman. And kid the other policeman. And why why? I want go on, go on, go on, go on. He show a who he might be a do man. You see? He go in the house, you see? As you get foolish people for your own, we get foolish people. He said, I should tell you solution. Me and no solution, I mean they we get solution. When you even get solution, your fellow brother go to destroy the solution with you. Those of you who will not get solution who think Okoko Biaman, I will give you the something. Una de corner there they sabotage our, our effort to help our people. You should be asking Una de Kano. These guys, where do you get the gun from? Instead of me asking me for solution. If I get solution, I use the solution to solve this courtesan thing in my own state, my state first. My state first every day with a hear of people, uh, uh, courtes, people who join courtesan to be uh, uh, terrorizing their people. Then I settle my state problem first. Don't, then from your state, didn't talk about how to change the whole Nigeria. That is something most of you, something most of you don't know. Nigeria is two things. It's like you don't know. When country, when things are bad in a country, huh? It doesn't mean you must destroy that country because things are bad. When things are not going well in a country, it is two things. He said that you repair it. It, it doesn't really mean things are bad, destroy it. The problem of Nigeria. They are facing the same problem in Ghana, in Kotonou. I am not saying this like I like Nigeria. That's why I make example of what really pains my heart concerning a do seaport. They didn't do it for us. You think I like the go people in government? When they raise the motion at the Senate that we have to build seaport, no Yoruba senator support. But I will I hate them because they are not from a do. They don't know the pain we feel in a do. Non Igbo Igbo senator. How many senators do we have in the house there? No Igbo senator support. It's only the Edo's. They were not even up to three. Who <laughs> raised up their hand? It was a shame. It was a show of shame. That was the end of agitation for seaport. So it is the state that is going to look for money to build the seaport. We belong to Nigeria. Edo is oil producing state. This is what we want in our state. If for instance we social that country, we don't need to go to Abuja to be begging them. 
because we want to build seaport in our state? You think you are the one that has something that is bothering you? Yeah, we. But we take things. It is cooler, cooler. What do you want us to do? To begin, okay, pick up arms. Oh, we want to go. I don't want to go. If I don't want to, if we, we want to say we don't want to be part of Nigeria again, I'm the one that will decide that from here. I own the whole I do. I control the Korean people. I control the Yekoba people. I control all their people. I don't just because that's how you will reason. Now you can control everybody. We will see how you control everybody. All oh, you Igbo land, I will see how you control your Igbo land. Because you know they can, you know they can have hotels or have business or uh, 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 property in in Lagos or in Abuja. It will tell you to this to divide Nigeria. You will be thinking of how to sell that property first before you tell you to divide Nigeria. Most of you people, you have nothing outside your region. You talk anyhow. If for instance now I don't have any house in Abuja, I don't even have in Lagos. All my property is in Edo. I'm not even even planning to build outside my state. That's me. I know, I know everything in my state. <laughs> so, let's say for instance, I have a building in, in Lagos. You think I will be supporting division? I, I, let me sell my building. I can't because of you. You are saying you want to divide Nigeria, go and sell my house in Abuja now. It doesn't work like that. So, you people, you, don't, you think for yourself. You don't reason, okay, how will my brother feel? So I will come to you and say, uh, did you believe in Nigeria? My guy, if I do not believe in Nigeria, it means that you want to go destroy. You know whether the one, my brother, I supported Obaseki. My own brother, the same mother, the same father, supports Izeyam. Because I support Obaseki, my brother supports support Izeyam, we will be fighting ourselves. No, you don't do it like that. You don't support, you don't believe in Nigeria. What if my brother believe in Nigeria? So my brother who believe in Nigeria is a fool. You that don't, you are the one that is clever or don't believe in Nigeria. There some of them will ask you what of Nigeria have done for you. What Nigeria, what have you done for the Nigeria? You. I'm not defending Nigeria. I'm just saying we should consider our fellow brother before we, what we do. Consider everything. Consider your brother. How your brother feel? How you know not how you feel alone. Some say some people see people. If I say I believe in Nigeria, they they, they see me as the devil. But it's your brother who signed the amalgamation for Nigeria. Your own Igbo brother signed the amalgamation for Nigeria. When I see a doma, when they they, they we, the British they came to our land, destroyed our empire, took our all by away. Fourteen years later, be 16, 17 years later. They joined Nigeria together in 1914. Did you see any Edoma or respect any Edoma and say, okay, you guys were a kingdom before. Come, we want to join Nigeria. No, nothing like that. When they were leaving Nigeria in 1960, who did they hand over power to? Carry your Igbo nonsense and leave me here. The verse. They hand over to you. Your brother signed the amalgamation. So they blame me for I support one Nigeria also. If I support one Nigeria also, I'm telling you, everybody who everybody know the problem of Nigeria. The problem is not affecting one tribe alone; it's affecting everybody. Everybody. There is a solution. Live in a big canoe. You know? Uh, living at the can bring solution. Uh, Buari is not from tribe. Buari is not from Fulani. Tell your brother to leave Fulani Buari alone and focus on his Biafra too. Buari is from a tribe. We are not here to say Buari is good. But life is like a mirror. If you cannot, it is what they call democracy. You know, they cannot have right. To call, to curse everybody. Don't forget, we have right to curse him out too. We'll curse him out. The way he's cursing people out. We have right to curse him out. We'll curse him out too. That is the democracy. You talk, I talk. You respect me, I respect you. You come here and tell me, what you just...